So this statement from Brian Luttrell, and kind of, this is how that this Shea girl that in my last video is coming up and saying that he invited her to his tour bus and he did this and that to her 21 years ago, 22 years ago. But this statement comes from, you know, Brian Luttrell. And it states the security that's involved with these uh, band members that are leaving venues. You know, for the quick out, they have security protocol in place to keep them safe. Let's have a listen. Today, we'll take a look at the declaration that Brian gave. He stated that at the beginning of 2001, the Backstreet Boys kicked off the first leg of the Black and Blue World Tour. As part of the tour, we performed two concerts at the Tacoma Dome in Tacoma, Washington on the 25th of February and 26th of February 2001. Due to our group's immense popularity at the time, security was extremely tight throughout the entire tour. For safety reasons, my band members and I were not allowed to go anywhere, including to the bathroom, unless we were accompanied by security. The only time my band members and I were left alone was in the privacy of our own hotel rooms. During the tour, and as a result of the strict security protocol in place, my band members and I were very isolated from the rest of the world. Security was with us at all times, and more often than not, we would have quick outs after each concert and be the first one to leave the concert venue. Security was always waiting for us backstage and the five of us would travel as one unit. Quick outs were part of the regular routine after each show. Any time that my band members and I would leave the building to board the tour bus after a concert, we would stay together. The mantra was, come one, come all, so that we were all accounted for. Our security detail was very strict about following protocol, no matter what, since the main concern was for our safety. Brian concludes that based on my understanding of the security protocol in place for the Black and Blue Tour, my band members and I were not allowed by our security detail to be left alone with a random fan on our respective tour buses. So that just basically states that there's you know, no way in 2001 that Nick could have invited this girl to her, to his bus without security or the other band members being able to see what's going on. Is she accusing them of being accomplices? Where were they at? This is why that her claim was denied when she first made this claim. She's just jumping on the, the bandwagon here. So, you know, his side too. It's good that, you know, that this security protocol was in place because it clearly shows, like, how did Nick get away with her? How did security not know? Why, it, you know, how did the other band members not know? And it's like this with all the bands. They have to be quick outed. They have to have security around them at all times. Because people want some of them. Just like this girl wants some of Nick. His money. <laughs>